<laughs> okay. Uh, good evening and welcome to another uh, edition of NWBHL One on One. I'm joined here by Mario Bolognese of the Rage, uh, who's coming off a big win today. Mario, why don't you tell me about the uh, the game you guys played today against the Hitmen? Uh, it was a good game. The Hitmen had a good uh, game there. We um, knew the importance of this game as we're all fighting for the last playoff spot, uh, us, the Hitmen, and the Barons. So. It was an important game, and I'm glad we came out with two points. Exactly. Now that's going to put you uh, up to six, four, and one. Did we decide? I believe so. Uh, two points. Two points clear of the uh, three points clear of the yes of the of the man. hitmen and four of the barons who were up next. So uh, they might have a chance to to pull closer. But like you said, it's that last that last spot. It's it's a real dogfight uh, for their for, for yeah. third. In, in fact, uh, either way. Um, find me a, a turnout tonight. Yeah, uh, it's more than seven guys. That was more nice than seven see. guys. I was a little so. shocked. Uh, I figured there's probably a few people maybe want to work off the uh, turkey. So you how know did, what's how uh, funny about that is we were actually joking about that on uh, the bench that uh, people ate too much, so they had to come out for a little run to work it off. So, but it was nice to see the turnout. Hopefully, it will continue. But you know how it goes. Uh, I do know how it goes, but uh, nevertheless, uh, they're all out today, and maybe some of those guys that just play every now and again, you know, get you know excited uh, once again now that the team is yeah, having well, a little bit more success. Hopefully, yeah, because uh, we've been short on D, because it's most of our D-men that are missing, so it's good to see uh, the D-men come back. And uh, Andy had a good game in net again, and uh, I thought everyone on the floor had a good game, and him men played good too. Yeah, that's a couple of great games in a row for Vandenberg. I, I, you know, he's the guy that I talked to, and he kind of said, "Oh, you know, he hadn't played a while in the last little while, and he was a little bit rusty." So yeah, just a word about. Yeah, he uh, took uh, last season off actually. We went with uh, Tony and Net, and uh, this year uh, Tony's been unable to play. He's been busy, so Andy's been taking full duties again. So he's slowly getting back in the swing of thing. Uh, Andy's been in the league for many, many years, so it's good to see him back and uh, have good team chemistry with him. And the LaFortune brothers, uh, Stellar uh, once again. The twins there, we, uh, yeah. They Eric were, and Daniel. Yeah, they were playing good. They had a good, strong game, and I uh, like to listen to them yap on the floor to each other. And uh, yeah, they had a good game, and uh, Orion actually came back. Uh, he's been missing for the last six or seven games, so we're slowly getting our players back. All right, well, we're looking for a good stretch run from uh, your team, and uh, did you put any tonight? No, Come I, on, Mario. I got two minutes in the box, and that was, uh, that's my deal. Well, that's he, all I got. So he, he, He's on the stat sheet. I'm so, on the stat sheet. That's congratulations. Thanks yes. for joining us. Thanks for having me. All, all the right. best in the new year, everyone. All right. Happy New Year, indeed. This has been uh, Mario Bolognese joining the stat man, Jeff Brailsford, and this has been another NWBHL 101. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs>